We are now just five days away from the impeachment trial of suspended Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. And now political pressure is intensifying around Republican state senators who will serve as the jurors. As Natalie Haddad reports, a conviction would upset conservative activists, while an acquittal could cost the GOP politically. It's on your TVs and social media feeds. Ads and posts looking to sway public opinion of suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton. The pressure also intensifying around Republican state senators who face a big decision over one of their own. I think Republican politicians who decide to vote with the Democrats um, are going to be seen by voters as such. Luke Messia is the director of Pro Paxton PAC, Defend Texas Liberty. Ahead of Paxton's impeachment trial, where senators will act as the jury, Messia says voters kept Paxton in office in November 2022 because they like the job he's doing. And as representatives, Messia says it's senators' jobs to listen to them. We're having conversations with Texans all across the state, millions of Republican voters, who are then in turn, uh, many of them reaching out to their senators and telling them, hey, I voted for you and I voted for Ken Paxton. I would like both of you to remain in office. Please respect that decision. While Defend Texas Liberty wants senators to vote against Paxton's removal from office, the chair of the Travis County Republican Party says conservative lawmakers are being pushed to do the opposite. Right now, I think senators are under more pressure to impeach than they are to not impeach. In an interview for an upcoming episode of Yolitics on WFAA, Matt McCoyak says it's likely we will know early on in Paxton's impeachment trial what senators are thinking. There's a handful of senators that I think are more interesting to watch than others, given their perspective, given their position, given their relationships, given what they may want to do in the future politically. Both Messia and McCoyak agree. Constituents will be watching their senators closely. In Dallas, I'm Natalie Haddad.